Welcome one and all, my name is Tavis and today we are starting a journey, sort of. I've been talking about before, but I want to make my own Merc company, so we're going to start doing a bit of paint testing for that. Now this is a regular ass blackjack, and I have base coated it with a primer and then prepared it for uh, contrast paints, basically. Which is this white over paint layer. Now, I could have done a uh, Senaton highlight, but I'm one of these weird people who don't think the Senaton highlighting or priming is, is the end all be all resolution for everything. It's quick, but when you're dealing with things as large as mechs, it turns out kind of odd. So instead, it's a fair flat tone. And uh, if you don't have contrast paints, you can just use regular orange uh, acrylic paints, just thin them down a bit and paint them over. Now this paint scheme is going to be a um, asymmetrical one with one grey leg, one grey arm and an orange center. I don't know why I felt this was good. It, it, one of the things is like I had it in my mind for a long time. So the first color is going to be grey. I'm using a pretty dark cold grey diluted properly to make it flow easily because we don't want to clog up details so this is going to be a lot of layers of paint so we want to be as smooth and as thin as you can so add perhaps a one to one or a two paint to one water depending on what paint you use you want this to be flowy but take several layers and get it good then just one thick layer i had to do two layers to make a good solid coat Next up, of course, we have the contrast paint. You can also use speed paints or washes or inks. Use whatever you like. You can also use regular paints. I use contrast paints because it's easy. It's a quick, easy solution to get a good, solid orange base coat on. Because we're going to paint over this with more orange later on. But to get, just to get a quick, very fast way to do this. Because on the test model, at first, it took a lot more time by applying several layers of regular orange. So, simple, quick, and why I use contrast paints here instead of like speed paints or that is because contrast paints dry very matte, giving this nice surface. So, on to highlights, and um, you know my policy at this point. This is not a science, this is an art. You simply have to look at the model and feel where to put it. Sometimes you're gonna screw up, some things gonna go wrong, and that's okay. You have paint, you can paint over again. Use thin layers, and well, just get a feel for it. So, this is pretty much just applying a layer of slightly brightened gray. This is a mix of a lighter gray and the first gray color. The idea is to create a bit of shadow in the uh, deeper parts of the make the panel lines, the recesses some of the undersides of arms and such. Places where light would not hit as easily. Come up on that is basically edge highlighting. This is done again by adding more bright uh, lighter tones to the grey. Maintaining the same tone but making it lighter in colour. Again, not a strict science. Try to hit the edges, try to imagine where light might be coming from. It's not an exact science, you don't have to worry about it, just get a feel for its smooth sweeping motions. It's okay, you don't have to worry too much about it. Mechs are good in this case because they have really distinct panels for the most part of it. And um, you just take your time. If you mess something up, it's okay, you just go over it again. Now, this is the final. This is basically just going in really tight, trying to get most of the really sharp edges. I'm using an almost pure light grey and uh, just hitting the absolute edges. Again, to create a bit of dimension and uh, to draw your eye into the model. We then repeat the same step with the orange, uh, painting over the uh, contrast paint using the darker tones to create shadows and uh, using a brighter paint to get some of the vibrancy back because I say the, most of the contrast paints are very dull they're not particularly poppy 
Some of them are, some of the same pop, but this orange is not poppy in the slightest. And the single some speed paints, they're they dry very dull. So going over with some brighter orange to get the liveliness back in it. Also dropping the mech. It's important to, sh to shake your mech, make sure it knows who's the boss. But yeah, basically running over this, making sure everything looks nice. Now, of course, this is not perhaps the final paint scheme for my, my unit, because I don't know, we're still tweaking the colors. The first one was a bit off, this is better. I don't know. And this is part of the process. Sometimes you pick a paint scheme and you're like, oh, this does not look good at all. And you just have to accept that you have to redo it. Again, going over the panel lines, making sure they're clean, then hitting all the edges with a brighter color and uh, just lifting them up, giving it some more dimension. It's a word I use, dimension, giving it dimension. Basically, the idea is that your eyes want to see light on the sharp corners and this is the way you emulate that. It's nothing special. It's a technique you have to practice over and over. As you can see, I use a very long brush and I swipe it. I don't try to paint with the edge. Not the edge, the tip. Don't try to do this with the tip. Do it with the edge of the brush. Stroke it across, making sure it hits all the edge. So once we had all the orange, we are closing in on actually being done. And we apply the silver to the feet and the guns, my standard style. This is, across all my models, this is the standard. I have explained why before. Basically, I don't like to paint the feet because the feet are going to be roughed up as it is, and I don't like to get all fancy with weapons because I want to be very easy to see where the weapons are on the mech. Some mechs are not particularly clear on where the weapons are, so I'm just keeping it simple. Now, I will do a video about this unit once I get um, a few more mechs painted up. I'm going to talk about the name of the unit, the insignia of the unit, what I'm planning to do with that. Together with something else we cook in the background, which is a sort of little mech Merc headquarters. It's a cool thing. Now, the final part of this is a blue stripe. And it's because this flag is a flag, it's a flag inspiration. I'm taking inspiration from the, uh, odd enough, might seem weird, the Swedish flag, which is blue and yellow. Now, is this not yellow, this orange? Technically, that is not correct, but I don't think the yellow looks particularly good on the Mac. I have done it. But this is introducing a color that still give a resemblance of that. So it gets a blue stripe down one arm and a blue stripe down one leg. Or maybe on some smaller mix I would put it on the body. But yeah. And uh, this is a fairly just a dark, it's not dark, but a very very rich blue. And then I hit it with a lighter blue to just create again some slight highlight. Highlights can do a lot of the lifting for you in this case. And with that, the mech is pretty much done actually. And um, here you go. The beauty shots of the finished mechs. Until next time, stay safe, be kind, and do play fair. Bye.